we're talking about. And uh, a very sober individual, 25 years in the Army, senior counsel to the Heritage Foundation, a good friend of mine, Jim Carafano, who literally wrote the textbook on Homeland Security that I used to use to teach out of, said, it's not a question of if, it is simply a question of when we have multiple 9-11s that will make the original one look like a small incident. And, and the, the, the irony of it all, Bianca, is think of this. What is the one issue above all else that got my former boss elected? Really, it, it, it is build the wall. It was immigration. Yeah. If there's one issue the Democrats should have stayed away from for the last four years, it's this. They have made it even more likely President Trump will be elected on the original issue that made him 45 to begin with. Yes, it's, it's really quite yes. ironic. It is, and it, it's ironic in that regard, and then it's frightening in every other regard that they have such a careless attitude towards the real threats, as you mentioned, that exist worse than 9-11. You know, that is what the people in the know are saying. Um, they're not dumb either. We can talk for hours about how we, they may want to just be pushing these folks in to vote. Um, but instead, no, Nancy Pelosi, um, after the, be, being outed for her January 6 video where she takes responsibility, she's out on MSDNC, and this is her smear uh, latest one when it comes to Donald Trump. He's crooked. Lazy this person. He's lazy. Name any subject. Any subject that you can name. Wacky this person. He knows he's wacky. He knows he's an imposter. I mean, the guy is up uh, in the morning working. He's flying from courtroom to campaign trail. He had a big day in D.C. yesterday after coming off a, a big rally in Nevada. I mean, talking about policies that will help Americans, and that's really why they're so scared. Let me just address what, one of the absurdities, that, that vomit of insanity coming out of Nancy's mouth. Lazy. Uh, President Trump is 25 years older than me. I couldn't keep up with him in the White House. When, when, he, when, 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 he, when we saw tweets at 4 a.m., I was always asked, hey, Seb, is that you tweeting at 4 a.m. on the president's account? I said, I need some sleep. He operates on like three hours a night. Yeah. When I was in Mar-a-Lago recently, he left at 6 a.m. He campaigned in Orlando in Atlanta. Yeah. He stopped at that Chick-fil-A to give a hug to that black college professor. Then he arrives back at Mar-a-Lago for 10 in the evening and then gives a 40-minute extemporaneous speech to those gathered there. I can't do that, Bianca. This man, I don't know what it is, the, yeah. the genes, the eight diet Cokes. He's got something nobody else has. And maybe, you know, uh, some have said on social media, the clean living, you know, he's never had a drop of alcohol. You know, a lot of that can factor no in. No cigarettes, no alcohol. Yeah. No yeah. And then you have Biden who can't stay up when he lands for the G7 dinner. And then this clip that's going viral as he is completely distracted, lost. And, you know, the Biden campaign spokesperson is trying to spin this. In fact, they're trying to say what we're seeing is not what we're seeing. They're saying it's disinformation. They actually are trying to demand that social media platforms censor this. We have it here. And listen to these outrageous comments today. We have to combat that disinformation. We have to hit it hard when it happens and make it clear that these are dirty tactics that MAGA Republicans are using because they can't run on the issues, Lemire. They have to run. They have to use these dirty tactics like this because they are not right with Americans on the issues. We're going to do what we can to combat it. Uh, but it does take vo uh, the voices of surrogates across the country. It does take the media to call it out. Oh, we're calling it out. We're calling it out for what it is, the truth. That is quite stunning. That should be in the Webster's Dictionary when you look up gaslighting. Don't trust your lying eyes about this man who's wandering off, can't read a piece of paper in front of him in Italy when he's doing a press conference, telling the, the reporters, hey, that's not the question they told me you were going to ask me. Don't trust your eyes. These are not the droids you're looking for. This is when you realize the legacy mainstream lying media are just propagandists for the DNC. They get their talking points right. every morning, and this morning it was, oh, it's fake news. He didn't wander off. That's not real. What you're seeing right now didn't happen. Well, uh, the, the MAGA Republicans, which are nowhere right there in his vicinity, yes. How Orwellian are we living in? Um, Sebastian Gorka, great to have you on a Friday. Thanks so much. We'll see you back here soon, my friend. Tune in on Sunday for the reality check. Never miss it. Thank you.